are famous for their 90s number one hit song, Mbop. But this year, Hanson is celebrating their 21st anniversary together as a band with a world tour. Ooh. Get the Girl Back is the first single off their latest record, Anthem. The Grammy nominees play Festival Place in Sherwood Park tonight. He is a household name with 13 albums and 20 years in the music business under his belt. While touring his latest album, I caught up with Ron Sexsmith to talk to him about what he's learned and why he is so incredibly hard on himself. In some very scripted scene, that's what passes for love. This is a man with a stack of records revered by famous artists such as Elton John and Bob Dylan and covered by big names like Rod Stewart and Chris Martin. And yet, Ron Sexsmith is incredibly self-critical. I think there's something that bugs me about every single record I've made, but um, not the songs. I'm proud of all the songs, but the, either it's my vocals or the... Oh, I wish we hadn't put that saxophone on it or something. That pressure intensifies on stage. If it's really great, it's awesome. But then you have these shows you weren't really happy with. Um, but that'll keep me up all night sometimes, you know, just worrying like, oh, you want to give everyone their money back. While he is his biggest critic now, the tables were turned at the start of his career. Sexsmith's first record, Grand Opera Lane, was released independently after every Canadian label rejected it. And when I first came out, it just was never, it never jived with what radio was playing. It was always out of fashion. My look and everything about me. English singer-songwriter Elvis Costello would be the first of many famous admirers who would raise his profile. That kind of endorsement was helpful in the beginning because that people take notice of that. Chris Martin was really took us on the road with them, of, I guess 2002, we, we did a couple tours with them. Elton John called me one time at home saying he really loved a particular album. And I mean, I was a member of his fan club when I was a kid, so that just blew, you know, just blew my mind. 13 albums and two decades of touring later, Sexsmith says he's just hitting his stride with his latest record, Forever and Ever. I think I was able to say things in some of the songs that I hadn't really been able to address before. I think my singing on this record is kind of where I want to be, you know. I, I think I didn't start singing until about the seventh album. Well, it's strange. As people were prone to dwell on things that we can do. He is the first to admit he's hard on himself, but believes he could afford to tone it down a notch, like his fan, Bob Dylan. I know I've seen Dylan many times. I've never really seen him on a good night. But I don't think he worries about it. I don't think he's on his tour bus after the show going, oh, that was terrible or anything, you know. He just goes out and does it. And, and I'd like to get to that place too, but I don't think I ever will. That's what passes for love. Ron Sexsmith will be back in Alberta when he plays Banff on Thursday and Port McMurray on Friday.